It's Wednesday, March 9th. Fat Tuesday is over and we got a big weekend ahead of us. You're watching Runner Space Live. That's right, folks. I'm hungry, not just for some fried rice, but for an awesome weekend of coverage, including live video. Did you hear that? Awkward video of the week. Ooh, that's better. Now I can relax and remind you guys to tune in this weekend for a live coverage of the US 15K Road Racing Championships, March 12th, 8.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 5.20 for all you West Coasters, so get your beauty sleep. And uh, also our coverage of New Balance Indoor Nationals this weekend, so tune in for all that. It's the Runner, Runner Space, Space Rundown. Rundown. Have a look at this week's runnerspace.com slash Nike Hub race time photos of the week. Submit, submit, submit. You might see it on next week's show. This week's Runnerspace Network side of the week is runnerspace.com slash APU track. That is the official fan side of Azusa Pacific University's track and field team. They have lots of great information on here. Their schedule, records, roster, and not to mention photos and videos. It's the high school rundown. At the University of Washington last chance qualifier, Maddie Myers of Washington ran seven seconds faster than she did last week at the Brooks PR invite. And it was good for the US leading mark of 447. That was good for fourth place in the heat against Collegians. And a huge highlight out of the New York State meet. Ashlyn Cuff, who will be running in the World Cross Country Championships in Spain in a mere 11 days, ran an amazing 929 for 3K. That's the number six US time ever. And in the boys 3200, the Milrose Mile champ, Chad Noel ran a nation leading time of 908. Josh Miller of Vest got the upset win in the 600 with a 120.7. The recently crowned national record holder in that event, Strymer Livingston, was third. And in the girls' 1500, Kelsey Margie of Harborfields ran a U.S. number three, 434. At the New England champs in Boston, the Lincoln Sudbury girls of Massachusetts won the 4x8 in the U.S. number two, 913. And up in Canada, at the Athletics Ontario Indoor Championships, 10 records were broken, including the Midget Girls 800 record, which has stood since 1967. It was broken by 15-year-old Kylie Sawyer of Laurel Creek, who ran a 215 flat. She also broke her age group record in the 1200 by 10 seconds with the 338 and some solid outdoor performances this week too. The indoor leader in the pole vault, Andrew Irwin, cleared 17 feet 6 and a half inches at the Arkansas Tri-Lakes Invitational. Had that been indoors, it would have tied the indoor national record. So maybe we'll see that at New Balance Indoor Nationals this weekend. And on the girls' side of things in Louisiana, Morgan Lolo cleared 14 feet even. That equals the number two all-time outdoor mark. And lastly, back to indoors at the Maryland Mid-Atlantic Champs, Marquise Dendy of Middleton, Delaware jumped a number three all-time long jump with 25 feet 9 and a half inches. He now leads the nation that event by over a foot. It's a college pro rundown. The European Indoor Championships were this weekend, and once again, Teddy Tomgo of France impresses, bettering his own world record in the triple jump twice. Twice, he jumped 58 feet, nine and a half inches. In the men's 3,000, Mo Farah defended his title, running a 7.53, and he also announced that he'll be skipping the World Cross Championships to run the New York City Half Marathon, which falls on the same day, March 20th. Bernard Lavanier set a French national record, winning the pole vault with a height of 19 feet, nine and a half inches. And in the women's 3,000, 37-year-old Helen Clinton won her first European Championship medal. She narrowly won the race by three hundredths of a second with an 8.56. And a couple good last chance meets at Columbia. The Villanova women ran a solid 10.56 in the DMR. In Washington, AJ Acosta ran a 3.58.3 to win the fast heat of the men's mile. He was followed by an overjoyed James Cameron of Washington who ran a personal best 3.58.5 getting the automatic standard. In the men's mile, Michael Hammond of Virginia Tech won with a 3.58.4. He was followed by Iowa's Jeff Thode who ran a 3.58.7. Both were personal bests and hit the NCAA automatic standard. And lastly, a big outdoor 
outdoor meet, the Melbourne Track Classic. World record holder in the 800 meters, David Rhodesia got a solid win in the 800 with a 143.8. Nick Simmons was second with a 145.09. Bernard Begat, fresh off his U.S. Indoor 3K title, got the win in a strong 5,000 with a 1308. Former partier Australian Ben St. Lawrence impressed with a personal best 1310. He took second, beating out Americans Chris Zelensky and Matt Tegenkamp, who were third and fourth. In the men's 1500, Australia's Jeff Reasley upset Kenyan Asbel Kiprop to win with a 336. American mile record holder Alan Webb was third in that race with a 337.8. It's the Road Racing Rundown. The 66th Lake Biwa Marathon in Japan was this Sunday. Kenyan Wilson Kipsang had an amazing race here. He negative split the second half, dropping Dariba Murga with about 5k to go, and ran a course record and world leading 206.13. Ethiopian Dariba Murga ran the last 3k very slowly, but held on to finish in second with a 209.13. And Japan's Hiroyuki Horibata ran a personal best 209.25 for third. And that performance will solidify his place on the Japanese World Championships team. Also this last Sunday was the Paris Half Marathon, where three women went under the previous course record. The winner was Kenyan Panina Arusi, who broke the previous record by over a minute. Second place, just two seconds back, was Kenyan Phil Sangori, who ran a 108.32. In the men's race, pulling away from the pack in the final thousand meters of the race was Kenyan Stephen Cabet, who won with a 101.36. Kenyan Moses Masap was second with a 101.47. At the Barcelona Marathon in Spain, Levi Matebo of Kenya came within just one second of the course record with a personal best 207.31. The New York City Half Marathon is coming up in a mere 11 days, and a number of top Americans are entered, including Ryan Hall, Meb Kavleski, Kerry Goucher, and Galen Rupp will be making his half marathon debut. Also making his debut at this distance will be the European 5K 10K champ, Mo Farah. Also, a quick reminder that this weekend, March 12th at 8.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can find a live webcast of the U.S. 15K Championships in Jacksonville, Florida, hosted by the Gate River Run. This is the third stop on the USA Running Circuit. Go to usarunningcircuit.com for all the info. It's that time for a quick tip. Here's how you add a PDF to your website, news article, or blog post. First, go to the Runner Space Forum and click on the Downloads tab. Now, click on the Upload File button in the upper right. Select a category from the dropdown and hit Continue. Now, name your file, attach it, and hit Add Submission. Now, on the next screen, you'll see a big green button that says Download File. Copy the URL of the Download button by right-clicking on it, and this might be different on different browsers, but mine says Copy Link Location. Now, go to the place you want to put the link to the PDF. Let's say you're creating a news article. Type out the name of the file, select it, and hit the link button in the text editor panel. Now, paste the URL which you have previously copied and hit insert. And that's it. When you save your page, you'll have a link to a PDF. Okay, that does it for this week. I'm off to New Balance Indoors. And hey, you know what? First person to find me there gets these beads. Maybe I'll autograph them for you. Signing out.